everybody. I'm Zaina from the Firebase team. And I'm Lawrence, also from the Firebase team. Today, we're going to talk about app indexing, a technology that allows your users to re-engage with their installed apps through seamless integration with Google Search. Now, why would users want to re-engage with their apps? Surely they have them already on their phone. I'm glad you asked. Did you know that the average user has 36 apps on their device and doesn't use most of them three quarters of the time? And of those, most are only ever used once. What if that's your app? That would be bad. I worked so hard on that app. Exactly. So with app indexing, when your users search for content in Google, your app's content can appear in the results. And not only that, with autocomplete and using in-apps in the Google app, you can drive users through your content too, right? Right. So how does it work? Well, if your app and site have the same content, you can associate them with each other, and then your app can receive incoming links from search. Upload an asset links JSON file on your site, which associates your Android app with the website. Because only you can upload this file to your website, no one else can associate your website with their app. The target property contains information about your Android app, such as the package name and details of the app certificate, making sure that the right app is linked. In your Android app, within your Android manifest.xml file, you can specify intent filters. These tell Android how your app should be accessed by the system. So in the case of someone discovering your content in search, and that content triggers a launch of your app, you can then tell it which activities to use. So in this example, when the URL matches recipeapp.com slash recipe, you'll launch the recipe activity within your app. When the Android auto-verify attribute is present in the intent filter, installing your app causes the system to attempt to verify all hosts that are associated with the web URIs in those intent filters. The system treats that app as the default handler for the specified app link pattern only if it successfully verifies the links that are declared in your manifest. So now when a user goes to Google and searches for something, if the result is in your app, then they can launch your app directly from the search results. And based on how you define the intent filter in the app manifest, the correct activity within your app will also be launched, giving your users a rich experience. Cool stuff. So if I've built an app that has content in it that my users love, then through app indexing, I can make it more likely that they'll rediscover it, and then it won't be... It won't be one of those apps that is only opened once. Cool, so how do I get started? Just visit this URL, try out the code labs, samples, and read the documentation. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you in the index. index.